Hello there. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my live. How's everybody doing this Sunday evening? Thank you for joining me. It's a beautiful night in San Antonio. It was a very nice sunny day. It's still 97 degrees, so a little bit hot, but that's what we have this time of year, so it's good. We're full on summer. I hope y'all are doing well. Let me see if I'm really live here. I'm waiting for myself to come up. It says I'm live. Hold on. It's being difficult. Okay, there we go. All right, how's everybody? Okay, still being a little fickle. All right, so I'm live on a Sunday. Uh, normally I go live on Tuesday, but I'm going to be on vacation for the next two Tuesdays. So um, I'm going live tonight. We've got a lot of uh, exciting things coming up, a lot of fun dates to go over. Um, so we'll get started with that in just a minute. All right, every week I do a share or a comment contest. So this past week, all you had to do was comment on one of my Facebook pages or my YouTube video. And then I just pick a winner from the names. Um, this week I'm giving away the Basic Gray and Smoky Slate Pearls. And the winner this week is Lisa Sharkey. So Lisa, congratulations to you. I will put these in the mail for you. Hi, Jolene, how are you? All right, um, I'm not gonna do a share contest this week because um, number one, I forgot to pull something. I'm waiting for some more stuff to come in um, and there's gonna be that long two week period. So um, we'll resume that when I come back from vacation. All right, let me um, turn my camera down. We'll get started and I wanna start talking about some dates right off the bat. All right, we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up and a couple of dates to remember. So let me make sure my camera's in line. No, I don't like that. Okay. I think that's pretty good. All right, let me pull up my chair. Okay, so just a reminder, first of all, the extra 10% off stamp and die bundles and the machines, 10% off the machines, that ends tonight, June 30th. So this is the last chance to get in on the bundles. Um, after this promotion, we've got some more fun promotions coming up. Um, so starting on the 3rd of July, we're gonna go right into bonus days. And what bonus days are is you earn a $5 coupon for every $50 you spend. That's between the 3rd and the 31st of July. Um, and then you just start collecting these coupons. They will send you a coupon code in the email, so you have to save those. And then you can redeem them August 1st through 31st. Um, so you can use as many as you want. Hi, Lisa. Um, so you can use as many as you want. You could redeem them all at once if you want in August, up to you. So that's a fun promotion that's starting, okay? So we've got one thing ending tonight, another thing starting on the 3rd. And then on the 5th, we have our online exclusives. Um, if you're a demonstrator, you could order these now ahead of time. But if you're a customer, it starts on July 5th. And we're going to use the online ex one of the online exclusives tonight in our video. So a nice variety of new products coming out. I can't remember if I ordered this one yet. I've got to check. I just didn't have time to check today. I need to make sure that I get that in my order. Um, but lots, lots of fun things. This is what we're going to use tonight is um, this uh, greenery the Season of Green and Gold paper, and then the stamp set, which is called Golden Greenery Bundle. We're also gonna use Greetings of the Season stamp set. Um, so lots of fun, lots of new products. Again, that this is all, look at some, I think this Halloween set is very, very cool. Some leaves, lots of fun stuff. So that's coming on the 5th. So since we're talking about dates, I'm going to, um, my host code for this week is going to be good all the way through July 12th when I get back from vacation. So that gives you almost two weeks. So you can take advantage of tonight's um, offer that ends tonight. You could take advantage of the bonus days that start the third. You could get online exclusive on the fifth. And you'll have enough time to be able to get the make and takes for this week because I'm just going to go all the way through the 12th on that. Okay. I think that's good for the dates. Let's talk about the cards that we're going to make tonight. So we're doing a little bit Christmas in July. 
So I think that's kind of fun. I couldn't resist. Um, the online exclusives are beautiful. I love the paper. This paper in particular, I think is so pretty. So we're gonna make a gatefold card that's season's greetings. And let me just show you the inside of our card right there. So very pretty Christmas card. These are very uh, relatively easy cards to make tonight too. Nothing fancy, we're not doing any crazy fun folds or anything this time. Um, happy holidays. And that's just the inside of that one. We're gonna do this Merry Christmas one. You gotta love a little plaid, right? And then lastly, we're gonna do this one right here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Happy holidays. So those are the cards we're gonna be making tonight. All right, let me put these aside and we'll get started. All right, let me show you first what we're gonna use. So in order, if you get the make and takes, in order to make these cards, you're gonna need the golden greenery bundle. So that's the stamp set here. And it has these nice images, um, which, these are at 75%, so the images themselves are bigger. Um, you can see how much bigger they are in actuality. And then uh, in the bundle, you also get a die set. And this die set is awesome because um, you've got some great dies to, to, to do some greenery with. But you also have some dies that cut out some of the greenery in the designer series paper. So lots of fun dies to work with. So that's what you'll need is this bundle to make, uh, to complete this card kit. All right. Other things that I'm using, you know, you guys know I love these, right? So we're using the spotlight on nature. I'm just using this circle for the first card just to cut out this gold circle right here. And that will be pre-cut for you in the kit. I'm also using Greetings of the Season stamp set. Now this stamp set also comes in a bundle. Here's the dies that go with it. I'm not using any of these dies tonight, okay? Just um, the, the greetings. Now uh, you can substitute. I'm sure you have some holiday greetings already, so just substitute if you like. I think this is a really nice stamp set and I wanted to get it because I like the fonts, I like the mix and match, and I like that there's some, some bigger um, ones and this one is 85%. Um, so this is perfect for the inside of a card, right? I like having an inside and an outside uh, sentiment. So I thought this was a really good set. So that's the one we're going to use tonight. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to use for this card is I'm going back to these Unbounded Love dies, and I'm just going to do this little die right here, and that's going to be um, for our greeting to go on, our sentiment. Um, and this will be pre-cut in your kit as well. Anything outside of that one bundle will be pre-cut for you. All right, so this is what the kit looks like. Okay, before I go any further, let me kind of show you the DSP. And I have to laugh because, you know, I've been very rushed today trying to get everything done a couple days early. And so um, it, my paper is just in a pile right here next to me. So. <laughs> so let me put it together for a second. And of course, I've cut it to pieces, but you can still kind of see how pretty these papers are. Um, some of them I didn't use, but I would like to use these. They're all like gold embossed. They're very, very beautiful papers. We're gonna use this one right here tonight. Um, and then what I love is some of these pieces. So the dies I was showing you, this piece right here, and it's got the green stripe on the back so you can tell the difference. All of these um, greenery pieces, there's a die for, and you can just cut those out with the die. So we're gonna do some of those tonight. The other piece, and I only have like a cut up piece of this left, has similar things, but the dies do not cut these. So um, these are fussy cut, okay? And we're gonna use some of them. The bells, this bell and this bell there's a die for, but the ones that are the double ones, you have to fussy cut. All right, so that is the designer series paper. Okay. So we're gonna do our standard gatefold card that we've done in the past. So we're gonna start with eight and a half by five and a half, and then we score two and an eighth on both sides, and they're gonna fold in together like this, okay? So that's gonna be our card base. We're gonna put a piece in the middle of very vanilla cardstock, and then I have these two pieces of that, um, that greenery, hold on, what's the name of it? Season of Green and Gold DSP. And so these are five and a quarter by half an inch, and we're gonna line the sides just like that. 
and then we're gonna stamp the greeting. I'm gonna stamp the greeting first in case I mess it up and then I'll do the gluing later. So I'm gonna pull this aside since we're gonna stamp on that. I have that die cut out of gold foil that I already told you about so we can put that aside. These two pieces of that same DSP, these are one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. There's two of them and those are gonna line the outsides of our gatefold card just like this. All right, and then the other piece that we're gonna stamp on is this little label, and this is also in very vanilla. So we're gonna stamp everything tonight in Mossy Meadow. Keeping it simple. All right, so for um, this one right here, we're gonna do Seasons Greetings. It's hard to think about Christmas, I know especially when I feel like summer just started. But I like to get the online exclusives because I feel like they're always very popular and I want to get them before they're sold out. I know last year I struggled and never even did a class with that little truck set because it kept going out of stock and then I couldn't use it. And so, um, yeah, so I, I'm getting my stuff now and getting these classes done early, I think. Okay, here's that big stamp I was talking about. May the holiday season be filled with warmth and cheerful celebration. All right, I'm gonna move it down a little bit because I'm gonna have trouble lining this up, I feel like. Okay, beautiful. Isn't that a pretty font? Okay, now we can go ahead and take our little um, strips. Hold on, I've got an avalanche situation. And we'll finish off the inside of the card. Yeah, Lisa, you're right. Hallmark does do Christmas in July. You're right. I think a lot of the stores too. I want to say the last time I was in like Hobby Lobby, um, pardon my head, I dropped my thing on the floor. There was already getting Christmas things out. But, you know, if you're a crafter, you like to craft ahead. So places like Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabrics, they got to get their stuff out early because crafters are starting to craft right now for their Christmas shows and stuff that they're going to be doing. So I think it's the same for us who make cards. If you send out a ton of Christmas cards, you want to get started. All right, let's leave just a little bit of a border here. Whoa, not so fast. And a little bit here and I think that makes for a really pretty inside I'm in love with this paper because of the gold it's just so pretty okay we can go ahead and put that inside do I need to trim anything let me just see if I've got just a little bit okay okay now our inside is going to be finished Perfect. Okay, let's take our um, other pieces of DSP and put them on our front flaps. Yeah, I can't decide when to place an order. I didn't want to place an order before the first because I wanted to get some, you know, start my sales for July. Uh, since I'm going to be on vacation, I didn't want to throw any more sales into June. So I thought, all right, I've got to wait till the first. But then I was like, all right, now should I wait till the third? Because, um, you know, you get that extra $5 on every 50. But then I have to make sure I get enough things to complete these kits in time. So I know I can't wait till the fifth to place an order. That's just too long for me. Okay, so the other thing you'll get with this card um, kit is this piece right here, and this is one inch by um, 11 and a half. And so we're gonna start by wrapping this around. And I don't really like to score it ahead of time. I just like to wrap it so it's kind of snug. And then I'm gonna cut just an, an even too. And then I'm just gonna end up cutting a little piece off. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna cut just a little bit right off here. 
And if I get too much glue right here, it's not going to matter because this is going to be covered up. So let's get this lined up. Okay, so that's our band, and it slides pretty good, but it's snug enough it's not gonna fall off. Now we can start building on top of here. So the other thing you're gonna get is some pieces of DSP, and I've already done the die cutting for these, so we're just doing these two branches right here. And like I said, that's from the DSP, and the dies just cut this right out, so super easy. I just cut out these two pieces. So we can go ahead and glue these down. And I'll give you the little cutouts. All you have to do is run it through your die cutting machine. Um, so you'll have those handy. All right, this can go right here. And I don't think I popped it up. I think I just put two, both of the pieces flat. And we'll put this other one off this way. And I have them kind of coming outside the circle a little bit too. And then this is gonna just go right here. And I think we will pop this up. Lisa, you're right, that would look gorgeous in boss and gold. That would look very pretty. I'm surprised I didn't emboss anything in gold this card class. I just use Mossy Meadow for everything. But I love gold, as you know. So Lisa, I'm going to Chicago which is gonna be fun. And then we're gonna road trip to Ohio to Cedar Point. So I can't wait to see my family. And my brother is in from Hawaii to Chicago. So I'm gonna see my brother when I go in too. So he'll be spending the 4th of July with us. So I'm super excited about that. All right, so you guys remember the silver and gold trim? Very pretty. This is online exclusive and um, I thought it was perfect for this. And I don't, this is, I think, is this the only, I think this is the only gold ribbon we have right now. Okay, hold on. I'm having difficulty. I want this all the way over here on the side. I can adjust later the up and down of it, but I, I tend to have trouble, <coughs> excuse me, tying these skinny ribbons or the um, linen thread. I think it's because of my nails. Sometimes I have to um, just tie a knot first and then tie the bow. Just the skinny ones, especially. All right, let's tighten that up a little bit. And I've got a nice big bow on this side. Hold on, let me get the right scissors. Okay, let's get this uncrooked. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's get some more dimensionals out. And I'm just gonna put some, whoops, made my bow crooked again. Right about here. And we'll go ahead and put this on right like that. Make sure it's the greeting is straight. And that's it. Let's put some um, little embellishments on. So this is one of the new embellishments and I seem to have lost the card for it. So what is the name of it? I'm trying to think. I wonder if I threw that part out. Anyway, it's pecan pie and clear ribbon dots. And you can see they've got like a little ribbon pattern or almost like a diamond pattern inside, really pretty. So we're gonna use um, a couple of the pecan pie ones because I think they look pretty with this gold and they're very, they're not glittery, but they, they just have, I don't know, there's something about them that's just really beautiful. So we'll just do a few of those dots and then that's it. Super easy first card. You gotta have your Christmas cards easy, right? And beautiful. They have to be fancy because it's Christmas. Okay, you guys, that's it. Our first card for tonight. Okay, so the next card we're gonna do is this one right here, this Happy Holidays card. And we're gonna do some die cutting with this one. And the set we're gonna use 
is, um, we're going to use this for the next two cards, the nested essentials. For this card, we're going to use the larger three of these. For the next one, we're going to use the larger three of these, okay? And I will die cut these for you in your card class. I don't expect you to have all these different sets of dies. So I'll get them ready for you. So your kit is going to come looking like this. Okay, so starting with our card base of Old Olive, eight and a half, five and a half, score to four and a quarter. We've got a piece in here that we're gonna stamp on. This is very vanilla, five and a quarter by four. Okay, so layer on the card right here is vellum, and this is very beautiful. This is a new online exclusive, and it is called um, Gold Mercury Vellum. Very, very pretty. So I'm just gonna put that layer on and add some adhesive. Now, usually you have to be kind of careful with vellum um, with your adhesive, but you really can't see through this. So I'm gonna hit, hit the corners up and a little bit in the middle. Um, so it's, it sticks on pretty good. So that's gonna be our first layer here. I wanted to really show off that vellum because I think it's so pretty. Okay, you're gonna get in your kit these pieces of cardstock, okay? So this is Mossy Meadow, and it's quite a large piece. It's a quarter sheet, so it's five and a half by four and a quarter, and the same thing with the gold. And you're gonna take some dies, and I'll show you which ones. So you're gonna take this great big one right here with kind of the more rounded leaves and you're gonna cut it twice. So you're just gonna cut this out two times out of this, all right? And then you're gonna end up with, let me pull my pieces down here. You'll end up with two of these, all right? So we've got, that's what that piece is for. Now with the gold, you're gonna do this other really large die and you'll do two of these on the gold, and those are gonna give you these beautiful pieces like that, all right? So we've got those ready to go. Okay, all right, then we have those three pieces that I told you about from the Nested Essentials. So we did the largest one in gold, Mossy Meadow, very vanilla, and we're gonna stamp on this one. All right, and then we're taking a double bell and I just cut this out. This is from the side that has the um, uh, plaid on the other side, and we're gonna fussy cut that. So let's just do that really quick. This one, does. there's not a die for the double bell. But I like the double bell, and I also like that it has a little green bow on it already, so I thought that was pretty awesome. And you can see it doesn't take long to die cut that. Okay. All right, so what are we gonna stamp? We're gonna do Happy Holidays on this right here. Now, I've already taken it, and this is in two separate stamps, so I've just lined them up right next to each other. Okay, and we're gonna do the Mossy Meadow. I probably should have added some ink to my Mossy Meadow because I feel like it's a little bit light tonight. All right, and this will just barely fit on here. Hopefully go on straight. Happy holidays, so that's our greeting. And then on the inside, we're just doing a little stamping off right in the corners, okay? So let me get something underneath. And we're gonna use this stamp right here and just do both corners. And you can add a greeting if you'd like, or just leave it for writing your, yourself. And that's what we're gonna do for the inside. Okay, let's put that down.
Okay, and we can start layering up the outside. So I'm just gonna use some liquid glue because once again, I didn't remember to go ahead and use my adhesive sheets. I'm just gonna cut off the stems. No reason to have those on there. And just add some glue. Get this started. Whoops, I got a little piece that still needs to be punched out. Well, you know, the 4th of July is just right around the corner this week. I can't believe it's coming up so fast. And these are just going in the corners. So this one right here, I'm going to put a little block on it to hold it down. I need to stop doing that. I mean, it works really great to hold it down, but I do tend to get glue on my blocks then. And it's not that easy to clean off. I feel like it's probably not really good for my blocks to do that, but it's super handy. Okay, next up, we're gonna put a layer of gold. Let me cut the stems off of these too. Isn't that pretty in the gold? I love it. It almost looks like little hearts, doesn't it? There's so much you can do with this set, this paper. I mean, half the papers I didn't even use yet. So we're just preparing a little bit of a background here. Okay, we'll let that dry for just a second. So we can start layering this up right now, and these are just going one on top of each other, just with a little bit of seal. Okay, we're gonna pop this up onto our card. I lost my comments for a second. Okay, they're back. Whoops. Ugh. If I would stop touching it, I'd probably be good. Uh. Okay, I'm not going to touch it again. That's it. Nobody started their Christmas shopping yet, right? kind of in the middle right here. That by itself just looks really pretty, right? Without anything else being added to it. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive at the top of this and then dimensional at the bottom. And we'll put our bell in the corner. Right there. Okay, now let's embellish a little bit. Let's get some more of that really pretty ribbon. Okay, just a little bow. Glue dot that right there. Oops, hold on. Touching it again, I just need to stop. And we're gonna put this bow right in the corner. Okay, let's add some embellishments. Now this time, I'm taking some of these beautiful um, adhesive back sparkle gems, and we're gonna use some of these. Is this that? Of course it's been open because I, oh, they're at the top. 
because there's things missing. Okay. So I need to make a huge mess. Let me put a couple things away, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to find anything. Okay, so we'll just take one of these little dots and we'll put it right in the middle of our bow. And then we can just take a couple more in the corners And I think it adds a nice gold sparkle. Okay, that was pretty easy, right? Card number two, all finished. All right, let's move on to card number three. Put this away, hold on a second. Gotta just fix some things here. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, Lisa, you started with a few things for Christmas already? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes if you see something, you just, you know, it's right and you just have to get it, right? Okay. Let's make this card next. And here's the pieces for this one right here. Okay. So this one, um, we're using uh, some of these pieces again that are cut. We're gonna die cut out of the gold, this piece right here. I'm gonna die cut these layers for you like that. And we're gonna die cut the bells. So the die cut bells are out of that other piece that I showed you, which is the plaid, the back of the plaid sheet. All right. And what do we do on the inside? Just a little bit of plaid. Okay, so same size inside, eight and a half, five and a half, score to four and a quarter. Keeping the inside simple, very vanilla, five and a quarter by four, and then this is five and a quarter by three quarters. So let's put that in first. I have not bought anything for Christmas yet. Although usually around this time, I will have, at least like you said, if you see something you, you, and you know it's right for the person, you go ahead and get it. So we'll see, maybe I'll find something on vacation for somebody. Okay, next layer, gold foil, five and a quarter by four. And then we're gonna take some of this beautiful DSP. This is that green plaid. And so this is five by three and three quarters. So we can go ahead and put those layers on. I think I've been too focused on getting other things. I've been trying to buy things for the 4th of July, um, birthdays that are coming up, stuff like that. All right, there we go, nice card base. Okay, so what we're gonna do, uh, we've got these three pieces that are layered up that we did in Old Olive, Gold, and um, also Very Vanilla. We're gonna stamp on this one right here. So we've got those. Um, we are going to um, take these pieces. Now, because it's on the back of this, these are pieces that don't cut with the die. So we're gonna fussy cut these. And I've already done that. Haven't I? Did I? Maybe I didn't. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, that one. That's not it. Okay, that's it. I just cut off the bottom a little bit. So I fussy cut those two. And then um, I've got this little piece of gold that you're gonna get in your kit. And you're gonna take this die right here and you're gonna cut it out, die cut it out. And then you're gonna get a gold piece, which is gonna be this piece right here. So that's the third piece that we need for that. All right, okay. Then the other thing we wanna do is fussy cut some bells. Well, well, this bell actually you can cut out of the, um, the, um, the DSP with the die, the little bell die. And did I do that already? I did not, but I did cut a big one out. So let me just cut this little one really quickly. So a little bit of fussy cutting for this card. Put these other pieces away for the next card. Yeah, this set doesn't have, I mean, 
basically the images are bells, right? And then I like the sentiments that go with it. And of course I love the florals. The greenery is very pretty to go with these, especially because it's embossed in gold. Very pretty. All right, there's our bells. Okay, let's stamp. We're gonna do Merry Christmas on this. And this is two different pieces again. So, hold on, here it is. So we've got that one that says Mary and I put it right next to the Christmas. So that's how we've combined that. Mossy Meadow again. So Lisa, I didn't really use the image stamps for this set. Um, now I was thinking with the bells you could use it. Um, and I did do one, let me see if I kept it or if I threw it out because I did one where I just stamped over the gold and I, oh yeah, and I did it in black and I didn't like it. But you could also um, do gold embossing. See, here's the black that I just stamped and then I, I die cut the gold bell and I stamped the image here. Um, but you could also do it in um, different colors like pecan pie or I would say is closer to what they have here or you can emboss it in gold, just emboss gold on gold. So I didn't really do too much of that. I was more into just cutting everything out. All right, I'm gonna put the Merry Christmas right in the middle here. And we've got that ready. And now I think we're just ready to assemble. Okay, so let's put these three pieces together first. And aside from that, just the leaves, when I stamped the leaves, that was it. But, you know, I'm kind of a die cutting person anyway. I like a lot of die cuts. Okay. All right, we're going to pop this up. And I'm going to try and do um, my dimensionals more towards the middle because I'm going to tuck things in around the sides, the edges. So... I guess I want to kind of stick a little bit towards the middle with this. Yeah, the images, I mean, they stamp okay. The problem is when you're trying to stamp on gold, it's a little slippery, so. Okay, there we go with that. All right, now we're going to do a little bit of cutting, so. We can't have these stick too far out because um, you gotta be able to get the card in the envelope, right? So I'm gonna start with, let's see, we'll do this piece first. See, when I did this card myself, I wasn't thinking I was gonna put a bunch of stuff behind it. So my dimensionals were by the edges and it was very difficult to get things in. So let's put this piece right here. We'll do the gold next. And we'll just have that coming off right in the corner like that. And then we'll do this piece last. Let's see, are we gonna be able to tuck that? I think we'll do some cutting here. Okay, I think we got it. All right, so now we've got our things coming out that side. Oh, you guys, did you see what I did? Hold on, this has got to come up. I didn't put the ribbon on. That was silly. I was so worried about where the dimensionals were going that I did not put the ribbon. So I'm peeling that off. Let me get this up too because... All right. This ribbon is really pretty. I'm just putting uh, a whole bunch of this down here because I'm gonna take some of the ribbon. This is also online exclusives that just came out. It's cream woven ribbon, it's called. And it's the texture is beautiful. It's very soft. It's almost like tufted or something. It's very soft ribbon. It's very beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna want it to start here and then I'm gonna loop it here, which means you have to go 
I might have to take all these off until um, I get my ribbon down. All right, and we'll just do some loops. Loop here. Loop here. And I put all my dimensionals in exactly the wrong spot, so that's awesome. <laughs> that's just silly. Good job, Laura. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All these dimensionals need to come off. I don't usually put ribbon behind my stuff, so I was not thinking straight. All right, let's see if we like the way the ribbon looks on this side. I think that's fine. This is just a little bit. And let us replace some dimensionals. Come on. Off you go. All right, take two. Here we go. All right, now I'm gonna put these two, I'm gonna put a dimensional here, and a little bit of glue at the top, and we'll put this off the corner here, and then we'll do the same thing. Let's put my dimensional right next to it up here, and a little bit of adhesive. And I kind of want the holes to kind of line up on this because I want to put it up just a tad my bow. All right, there's the bells. Let's get just a little bit more of that really pretty ribbon and just tie a very small bow. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much. Well, at the end of this, I'll have eight Christmas cards, right? That's a good start in July. Is this too big? Yeah, let's make it just a little bit smaller. Okay. All right, glue dots. There's still so many things from the annual catalog that I haven't done yet or used yet. And now there's all these online exclusives too, so I don't even know what to do next. I'm kind of confused about what I should do. All right, let's do some more of these sparkle dots. Which I think coordinate nicely with this set. Okay. Little struggle, but it's done. All right, there we go. Card number three, all set to go. We could almost put that um, that same big sentiment in here, right? It would fit perfectly in here. I might go back and do that later. Okay, we have one more card. I like this one too. I think this one is really pretty. It's a very simple card, but I like the way it looks. Here's the pieces for this one. Hold on, I need to get a drink real quick. I am thirsty. All right. I feel like my light's just really shining brightly on there. Okay. Last card. So this one, we're back to Mossy Meadow. And we're doing eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter like we always do. But then on one side, I just cut an inch off. So I just took an inch off here. So you can see it's an inch short on this side, which is perfect. On the inside standard, five and a quarter by four, this is gonna go here and we're gonna stamp on this. 
This piece right here is gonna fit perfectly this layer of that same DSP, and the layer for this is five and a quarter by three inches. more gold I love the colors the gold and the ivory and the greens very pretty colors okay next layers we're back to mossy meadow and this is four and a half by three and a quarter and then this piece of very vanilla is four and a four, yeah okay four and a half by three and a quarter and this is a quarter so inch smaller so three by four and a quarter and that fits right on here. We're gonna stamp on this before we put it down. And then this goes on the inside of the card and we'll do that after we stamp. It's gonna go on this side. And then we have this piece right here, which does uh, get used. Let me show you how the die cuts work with this because I didn't actually show you that. Let me pull this die cut and it's this one right here. And you can see how it lines up with the paper and you just run it through your die cutting machine and it die cuts it beautifully. And I believe I've already done that. So here's that die cut already. Okay, just a few pieces, right? Very simple. All right, let's do our stamping again with the Mossy Meadow. And this time we're gonna do, it's the most wonderful time of the year. That's gonna go on our piece that's gonna go on the front. I love that sentiment. Okay, there's that. And then on the inside here, I just did happy holidays again, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of space because I've got this here. So I'm gonna have it a little bit off to the side. So let me just line this up a little so I can see where I'm gonna put my stamp and get my happy holidays out. I know this isn't straight, which it doesn't really matter, but okay. And I think I want it like right here. Okay. I think we're done stamping. Okay, let's put this piece on. Hold on, I need a baby wipe one. Got very green fingers. No point in ruining anything at this point, right? Okay. Going on the inside. This is a quick class tonight, less than an hour. All right, just like that on the inside. This is gonna layer on here, and then we're gonna tie ribbon before we put it down to the front. All right, let's get our ribbon out one last time. And let's wind it around and make sure I have enough. We'll tie our bow off to the side. I don't like the way that twisted. There's two sides of this ribbon, one that's just gold and one has the ivory stripe in the middle. side. Okay, I'm going to move it down towards the bottom some more. And maybe just a tiny bit this way. Just curve it that way. Just like that. That looks good. All right, we're going to glue our die cut piece. Just like almost like it's a round 
hold on, I gotta go a little bit lower. We might have to cut a little off, I don't think so. I want it to get in my words. Okay, just like that. Which I think I'm gonna bring my ribbon down just a tad bit more. Just like that. And it looks like I forgot to cut the ends too. Okay, now we can pop this up on our card right here. Let's see, that'll be here. And then this will be centered on the card like that and then a couple of dots we use lots of these gold dots tonight huh but I think they're perfect and one down over here okay another easy one right that went pretty fast so that is our fourth card all right let's bring them in and take one last look Clear some of this stuff out. Again, if you would like to get um, the kit to make these cards, um, you have a whole almost two weeks, right? Friday the 12th to order. Place an order at my website. Here's the host code. And then I will send you this card kit in the mail. And then you can start making Christmas cards. All right. So we started with this beautiful gatefold. And then we went to the one with the mercury vellum. And then we did a little bit of gingham action. And then we ended with this one right here. I hope you guys like the cards. Um, I hope nobody's too offended that we're doing Christmas in July. If you would like the project and measurement sheet, just email me. Um, I'll be happy to send it to you. Um, and my email is sunshine and sparkle stamping at gmail.com. If you're on my email list, this will go out in the uh, email tomorrow with all the, um, this will go out in the email to you. So you'll have it. Um, a couple other reminders, uh, paper pumpkin. Are you guys getting paper pumpkin? It's an awesome kit. I just wanted to show you this month's kit was pretty fun. Um, if you don't know about Paper Pumpkin, it's great because you get a kit with everything in it. You get these step-by-step -step instructions. You get all kinds of things with it. So there's some tear and tape this month. You get a Shy Shamrock dot, uh, stamp pad, some linen thread. You get some beautiful pearls. You get a whole stamp set. You get some glue dots and some dimensionals, plus all the pieces. Um, there's no die cutting. Everything is punched out and ready for you. Um, to just go ahead and make your cards, which is great. So what I did was, I don't really do paper pumpkin alternatives. I barely have time to do my paper pumpkin most of the time. But I do like to put it on a regular card base because I feel like it's a little bit thicker than the card base that they have. So I usually will cut my card base down. So I just added a little bit of um, background cardstock to these. And look at how nicely the envelopes match. They always have really pretty envelopes. So there was this card right here. Same thing, I just added a little bit of the yellow um, cardstock for a card base on this one. And then this one right here, also I just added a little bit of a card base just, uh, just to make it a little bit thicker, a little bit more substance. You don't have to do that. You can make it the way it's intended. But anyway, that's the Paper Pumpkin for this month. Um, it's a great value to join uh, Paper Pumpkin. You don't need a die cutting machine. It's just super easy to assemble the cards. Um, no sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial for July this time. And I think that's it. You guys have a happy 4th of July. I hope you guys have a great week, a great weekend. I'll see you back here um, the Tuesday after the 12th, whatever day that is. I don't have a calendar in front of me. Um, but we'll be back and we'll be doing um, something else fun. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I love spending this time with you. All right, bye-bye.